Why I paint the back of my eyes dark? Dark backs make it easier to focus and see through. Light backs are hard to see through and can cause eye strain. This has been a question I've gotten and seen for a long time as a fursuit maker. How do I pattern my head base? Materials used. This is the duct tape I use. Let's get started. You want to use smaller pieces that are overlapping to create a thick layer of duct tape that is form fitted to the base too. Have a solid pattern. Make sure you have a reference sheet of the character you'll be patterning and later fur it. Make sure to label the color, fur direction, if the piece will be free of shape, and where the connection points meet up when all sewn together. Cut and remove the pattern. I put my patterns on paper when removed. Next step, lots of sewing. For more fursuit making tips that have helped my blood pressure go down. Using pins instead of clips. Hear me out. You can get a lot closer to pins without having to remove them. Therefore, the fabric has less time to shift and warp as you're trying to sew it. Especially useful for seams that go around in a full circle like armpit seams. Only use coil zippers. I've had one too many teeth zippers break on me, and I've seen others that just sort of sag over time. Wash your glue gun very thoroughly before you even think about going anywhere near white fabric. Buy the proper length fur. This has been something I've regretted doing on my stunny suit. As you cannot just shave 2 inch pile fur and expect it to be bunny. It mats just as bad as 2 inch fur while it was long but now it's short so it just looks even worse. There's really nothing you can do about this either besides literally make a whole new suit. Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover Don't pop like trouble, breaking into your heart like that Ooh. Cool shade, stunner, yeah, owe it all to my mother High like summer, yeah, I'm making you sweat like that Break it down Ooh, when I look in the mirror, I'm not too hard to do I got the superstar glow, so How I make waterproof for suit eyes. First I tape over the head to get the shape of the eye. I tape both sides to be sure it doesn't end up cross-eyed. Then I cut it out and use it as a stencil. Paint paint. Cut them out. I use this spray, I get it at a Michaels craft store. Be sure to spray in a well ventilated area, like outside. I spray both sides twice. Glitter. Waterproof. I helped bring a client's kitty back to life.
cute whiskers. Mouth details. Sassy eyelids. Thank you for commissioning me. Hey guys, today this suit is getting some hair. I'm gonna try and go for something a little bit edgy, maybe going over the eye a little bit and sort of layered and cool looking. I have this Flocati fur from Hell Fabrics that is four inches long. It's super wispy, it has a great backing, and I'm super excited to be working with this. First, I'm starting with a base layer. This layer will be a lot wider than any of the other pieces that I will layer on top. So I got that traced onto this piece of fur and I'll show you what I'll do next. This is gonna be difficult to record because I have to use both hands for this, but instead of sewing two of the same pieces together, I'm basically going to brush the backing over and over again until the fur from the other side gets pulled through and then you're stuck with one wispy piece. I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. Here's the same piece after one minute of brushing. I'm gonna keep going a little longer. I'm leaving just a little bit unbrushed towards the top just so I have something to sew onto. I'll be making a part two where I add more layers. It's already looking super cool. My doll! Don't leave me here! <laughs> My doll! My doll! I think it's about time to remake my tutorials, so uh, here we go. Draw what your paw will look like on the paper, and make sure your hand can fit into it. Mine's out of cardboard because I reuse this pattern. I also make separate pieces for the fingers, palm, and wrist. Also, in my case, my pattern is symmetrical. Now to make your fingers round and stuff, take your finger patterns and trace them onto foam. Then carve them into the round shape you want. Make sure the part that connects to the back of the palm is sloped all the way down. Then duct tape them, cut the duct tape off, and lay it flat. Then you got your pattern. Also, make sure you know the fur direction. In this case, the fur should be going towards the tip of the fingers. Trace them on the fur. I usually only shave the palm and the fingers, but if you want, you can shave all of it. Also remember, if your pattern is symmetrical, you can just flip your piece to get the left and right side of the paw. 